Uh, so you've asked me to do a video to talk about estate agency and 30 years in, there's so many different things that I could talk about, but I went straight to uh, the fiercely competitive nature of estate agents. Recently, it's, well, it's online versus high street. Um, but if I'm honest, I, I'm not sure that it's ever been as anything other than a hugely competitive, hugely personal, hugely challenging uh, experience to go head to head with other estate agents and prove that you do a better job for your vendors than, than whoever else it might be. And, and, and I think that's, that's the very nature of um, the living room pitch, right? And all the marketing that supports it. And it reminded me of a story that, that definitely, since you tell by the smile, sits fondly in my mind. 1993, I became the branch manager of Dixon's Estate Agents in Redditch. And one of the um, local independent agents, Nigel Paul, great agent, um, great partner as well, Jeremy, Jeremy McGinn, who's still around. You know, Dixon's have given this early 20s um, ball of energy and passion and the opportunity to run one of their flagship branches. Um, we've got this amazingly professional, local branded estate agent. Nigel Paul would come out and do the valuations. Jeremy McGinn would come out and do the valuations. And it was a hugely, fiercely competitive time. And I don't think it's any different to the environment that we get today. Just the playing field was different. And there was an incident one bank holiday weekend where Nigel's team left his swing sign out. And uh, I'd seen, I think it was uh, somewhere in Bedford, it might have even been a tailor's office in Bedford, they'd done something with um, a competitive swing sign and I, I just couldn't help myself. So I actually took Nigel's swing sign to Western Supermare, put it on a towel on the beach, a towel on the beach, put some sunglasses on it, some sun cream and took some photos and created back then with a photocopier, which wasn't easy, some disparatory uh, flyers that sort of... Uh, they didn't go to the vendors, but they certainly suggested that Nigel Paul really wasn't open seven days a week and actually were pretty lazy lying, lying on the beach. And I, I thought it was great and it was good spirited. And um, actually, I think Jeremy McGinn thought it was good spirited as well, although he wouldn't tell me that. It'd be interesting to see whether he'd tell me that now. But Nigel was thoroughly, thoroughly annoyed. And we started getting these strange calls saying, why have you taken him off a sailboard down? Well, and and it, it started at one or two and, and by later in the day it was a dozen and then we got a call from somebody saying um, there's a guy taking him aboard down what's he doing and it was Nigel Paul in his Range Rover taking down all the Dixon's boards in Redditch uh, and it was it was not out of the acceptable arena in his mind he thought it was uh, a fair response to what we did and I think that kind of um, created the respect between the two businesses to be really fiercely competitive agents, you know, to have really strong market share, but also to, to run very different models. You know, the, the local independent with Nigel Paul doing the valuations versus Dixon's estate agents with an early 20s something, you know, didn't live in the area, didn't know the area that well, um, but used energy, passion, enthusiasm to to win in a, a, an arena that didn't mean they had 100% market share, but meant both businesses were very successful. And for me, a state agency has got that marketplace that understands nobody ever has 100% market share. Nobody ever has 100% valuation conversion. Nobody ever gets their full fee 100% of the time. But we do have an environment where we can be hugely competitive, differentiate our propositions and compete fiercely but with a huge amount of respect for our, our competitors and our colleagues and estate agents, our peers and estate agency uh, across the UK. And one of the things that I, I've seen across our industry is you know, people be there and say the nice warm things when uh, somebody's poorly or somebody's passed away. You know, it's, it's incredibly easy to say the right things, but I don't think we say the right things often enough in the, the fierceness of the battle and um, there's a lot of estate agents that I'm very proud to have worked with I'm very privileged to have worked with and against and I feel very fortunate to have had an amazing career in a um, an industry that matters so much to our customers.